Now, when we first started talking about the rotary cutter, let me get a good size block here. When we first started talking about the rotary cutter and we were talking about cutting quilt blocks, the first thing we said, if you remember correctly, is measure cut, measure cut, measure cut, measure cut. See through ruler, you get another six layers, measure cut, and you do this over and over and over again. And I'm gonna show you how we're a little bit different using the Martelli tools, okay? First thing first, let me pick this up over here so we have some room and you can actually see it a little bit more clearly. Okay. All your rulers, if you do not have Martelli products, your rulers and your templates do this right here. They slip all over the place. Watch the Martellis, it doesn't move at all. Now, let me share this with you, okay? Have you ever heard anybody say, oh, that's laser cut, or hey, that's cut by a laser? Let me share this with you if you don't already know this. The reason why people use laser machines to cut things is because of its accuracy. Now, again, let's discuss what is the most important thing in this industry accuracy. I want you to look at my quilt blocks, okay? I have every single size, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 20. Look at them. Now, look at these templates very, very carefully and tell me how you know that this was cut on a laser machine. Kind of, I'm going to go back and forth so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it in there. Do you see the etching? That etching tells you that this was cut by a laser machine. So, if we know that laser machines are known for one thing and one thing only, if they're known for accuracy, and we know that all my templates are you cut out by a laser machine, and we know that my templates don't slip and don't slide, watch this. Now, let's go back again real quick and let's go over, because I really, I, you know, this might make you a little nauseous, but I want you to think about this. So let's go over again how you cut a quilt block out. You take an acrylic ruler that's see-through, that slides all over the place, that your fabric travels or the vacuum moves your fabric you take an acrylic ruler and you have to measure four different times and make four different cuts six layers at a time and I'm being generous think ladies this is absurd think about this measure cut measure cut measure cut measure cut six more layers measure cut and you do this over and over again now my question to you is every time you take six new layers do you think it's the same as the last six never let me show you the advantage by using my template system once again, this was cut by a laser machine. Watch what happens when I push down on my template with the fabric. Watch the fabric. See how the fabric stays with it? Now, this is what your templates do, okay? Your templates slide on top of the fabric. Let me hold the fabric here. So this is what your templates do. So it doesn't matter. You're always going to slip. You're always going to mess up, and you're always going to have to start over. So watch this. All my templates were cut by a laser machine. The majority of my templates have my seam allowance put in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Point 0.5. The reason why we did 0.5 is a quarter inch seam allowance and a quarter inch seam allowance equals half. Quarter plus a quarter equals half. So my quilt blocks already have my seam allowance built in. So I want you to watch this very, very carefully, okay? This is how I do my quilt blocks and compare it to yours. Cut. 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 There's six layers. You ready? I'm going to take this and I'm going to set this right here and I'm gonna get six more layers, okay? Cut, 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 and cut. Now, six more layers. Now, here's my question to you. If I'm using this, and I know that this template was cut by a laser machine, and I know that this says 6.5, or whatever my template says, does it matter if I do one layer, five layers or a thousand layers at once? The answer is absolutely not. That's what I was discussing with you at the very beginning. When quilters tell you, whatever you do, don't use your mats, use your ruler. Well, no, that's wrong. Whenever you're using your ruler, you're adding a complete extra step and you're doing it more than once. You're measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting. Six more layers, measure, cut, measure, cut. Measure. You do this over and over. So every time you have a, a, a stack of layers, they're all different. It's amazing you ladies do as well as you do. With the Martelli cutting system, everything you do has 100% accuracy. It has nothing to do with anybody's skill level. It has everything to do with the tools that you're using. Now, even if you're using my template and you're using a traditional rotary cutter, let's get back to what everybody does. They hold it, the first thing you do is in the middle of the body and they hold their blade at an angle. Why do you think, let me explain this to you. Why do you think when someone uses a traditional rotary cutter that they never do more than six layers? 
because when you do more than six layers, you push harder. When you push harder, the blade bends. If you're cutting with a bent blade, what does that do for your accuracy? Every single layer is not exactly the same. So when you actually go sew your quilt together, they're all different. Now here's a question for you. Let me put it in perspective for you, okay? Where is a quilt made? Is a quilt made on a cutting surface or is it made on a sewing machine? Sounds a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Here's the issue. The issue is the quilt is made on a cutting surface. If the quilt is not cut properly, it will never sew together properly. So this is the proper way of doing our, our quilt blocks. Now, since we're still on templates, this says 6.5. So the very next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to cut a circle. Now you ladies, absolutely, I, I bless your hearts. You've been doing it the same way that you've been taught forever. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the proper way of cutting a circle. circle. You take a template, the template slides all over the place just like this, and then you take a rotary cutter and you try to push against the radius and you're expecting that template not to move. That's absolutely ludicrous. I have yet to ever see a quilter that has done perfect circles using old technology. Now, let me share this with you, okay? This quilt block says 6.5. This quilt circle says 6.5. Now I've had some ladies, and I'm gonna share this with you, okay? I've had some ladies. It doesn't matter if, you, as long as the block is bigger than the, the circle, then you're okay. That's not true, and I'm gonna show you the reason why for that too. So now I'm gonna take my 6.5 circle, and I'm gonna take a piece of fabric right here, okay? And then, like I said, I don't tell you things if I can't show you. So I'm gonna take this piece of fabric, and I'm gonna fold it four times, okay? Or I'm gonna fold it twice, excuse me. I'm gonna line both of my corners up just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna finger press this, making sure they're even, okay? So I'm, I have that nice and even right there. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna finger press this. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fold it again. Now, this is really, really cool. My templates don't slip and they don't slide. So I'm gonna take this template and I'm gonna set this corner right here. Now here's why you don't want a larger square for a circle. I'm gonna use this right here and this right here to line up as a guide with the either end. So I'm gonna set this down just like this on my template, making sure this is even at the end and making sure this is even at the end. Now watch what's a little bit different about what I do and about what you do. Watch my fabric right here. See how my fabric stays with the template? I can actually use my template for what it's designed for and that's a guide. Watch this, open it right here and I can actually turn my template as I'm cutting. I want you ladies to see this. Look at this right here. It does not matter what I tell you, it matters what I show you. So I'm gonna take this circle and I'm gonna open it just like this, okay? And then I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna put it on my lines just like this. Now I want you to watch this very, very carefully. There's a line there, look where my circle is. There's a line there, look where my circle is. There's a line there, look where my circle is. And a line there. Every single circle I do is 100% accurate. There's no ovals and there's no odd shapes. So your circles are true circles. The only thing you have to do is take your square, cut your square out, and then whatever your square says, go to your circle. Fold your square into fours, making sure it's even, line your points up with your circle, and then cut out your circles. And every single time you get an exact circle. Now, this is really neat too, and I'm gonna have to step out of the frame just for a quick second here. And we are going to get some fussy cuts. Now, this is, this is pretty unique too, just like this. So I'm gonna get a piece of fabric here and I'm gonna cut this. I wanna show you something as far as fussy cut goes. Let's take this, let's cut this right here. Take that right there. Now, set this down. When you fussy cut, let's just pretend, let's, let's get this cleaned up just a little bit so you can get a really good shot of it. Let's just pretend like we wanted to cut one of these roses out, okay? Let me get a little piece of rose here so you can actually get a much better angle on it. All right, let's pretend like we wanted to cut one of these roses out. Now, I'm gonna make fun of you ladies. Please don't beat me up if you see me at a show, but this is typically what you do when you fussy cut. You either take a see-through template and you put it down and you cut and the thing always moves on you or you do this right here. And then you come right here and you'll try to peek underneath there. You never seem to get exactly what you want. Watch how cool and innovative this is, okay? My no slip 
templates. All my templates are no slip. My fussy cut are not no slip. That wasn't an accident. When I push this down right here, I want to be able to move this on the fabric. Let's get actually a bigger piece so you can get it. I didn't cut it all. Yeah, let's get this so you can probably see it a little bit better doing this right here. Okay. So now I can take my no slip template and you see how I'm able to slide this on the fabric? See how I'm able to slide it back and forth? So now all my fussy cuts at the bottom, let me get really close up. All my fussy cuts at the bottom have the numbers. They all coincide with my quilt blocks. Basically what it is, it's a picture frame. So I'm gonna put this picture frame, let's say I wanna cut out this rose right here. I'm gonna put this picture frame exactly where I want it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that rose and I'm gonna center it this way and I'm gonna center it this way. At the bottom, it shows you where your seam allowance is. So I can use my picture frame of 2.5. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here. My quilt block says 2.5. Hopefully you can see that. 2.5, okay. This says 2.5, so I'm gonna take my quilt block, I'm gonna pinch this slightly, and I'm gonna take my quilt block, and I'm gonna set my quilt block right on the inside of it, just like this. Now when I'm done, I physically see what I want. So when I'm done, I'm gonna take this out right here, and then this locks to the fabric. So now when I wanna cut out my little rows that I just had, I'll cut, I'll turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn. Now, I want you to watch underneath here, watch. I get exactly what I want, leaving a perfect seam allowance. So this entire system is absolutely incredible. I saved the absolute best for last with the templates. There's one thing that I wanted to show you. You're talking about doing your quilt blocks, making them accurate, cutting them in half, and then doing your half square triangles. This is really, really impressive. Now, remember I mentioned you earlier, all my quilt blocks have my seam allowance built in, 0.5. Well, I also have my even blocks. Let me show you why I have my even blocks. You're gonna see that this right here is 5.5, and then you're gonna see that this is five. So, I'm gonna take my five and a half inch quilt block, okay? I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna cut this up just like this. I'm gonna cut, turn, Cut, turn, cut, turn, and cut. So now I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my five and a half inch quilt block, okay? Now, notice I have my mat right here. I promise you we're getting to the mat. My mat is 100 percent accurate. Well, just let me show you this real quick so you know that my mat is accurate. Now, you remember you remember that we discussed that these are all cut by a laser machine, and laser machines make the most accurate cuts in the world. This says 9.5. If I put this quilt block right here on my mat, just like right here, okay, and I come take a little pointer, I want to get a close-up of this right here. You're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the smallest line on my mat represents a half an inch. Do you see that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a half. So if we know this template's exactly nine and a half, my mat is 100% accurate. I just showed you the accuracy of my mat. Now put that aside, let's get back to what we're doing. So I just cut my 5.5, okay? Now I'm gonna come do my half square triangle. So I'm gonna take a piece of fabric out here. Take one, it's fine, right here. So now, notice I have a grid system on my mat right here. So I'm gonna grab my ruler right here, and I'm gonna put my two points, here's my 45 degree angle right here. See it, see the line? So right now I'm gonna to to put my two points on my 45 just like this and just like this. Now I can do it 32 layers at a time, I'm just doing this to show you. Now I'm gonna come take my ruler and I'm gonna set my ruler right on that 45 just like this, okay? Now when I'm done, I can actually take my ruler, remember the proper cutting position, outside of your body, you can take this and you can cut that from point to point. Now when you're done, you're gonna take these two pieces right here and you're gonna sew them together. Now this is the part. Now I don't have a sewing machine here obviously. Pretend like I just sewed this together. So if I have a quilt block that says 5.5, okay, 5.5, I cut it and then I sew it from point to point, I lose a half inch all the way around. My quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. So if I lose a quarter inch all the way around, then I take my next template size down. Now this is what you ladies and gentlemen do. You measure cut, measure cut, measure cut, measure cut, six layers at a time. Then you do six more layers, six more layers, and they're never exactly the same. 
and then when you sew them together you have your little dog ears you square them up all independently so you're taking six jacked up layers of fabric and you're jacking them up more watch what I do you saw how perfect my quilt blocks are we know that this is 5.5 so when I sew it together I know that I lose a quarter inch all the way around which equals a half inch it's 5.5 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next size block down five and I'm gonna put it down just like this now I want to show you something really cool once I put this down let me make sure I don't quite have a quarter inch there now I'm doing this with my eye but there's my quarter inch seam allowance so now when I'm done I'm gonna take my five inch quilt block and when I set it down I want you to see something see perfect right there when I set this down what do you have right there and what do you have right there you have your dog ears so now when I come cut this watch this So now, when you come cut your quilt block, you're cutting every single half square triangle exactly the same. Imagine if you're doing the, the, the intricate, the two inch blocks, and then you do your half square triangle with your two. How intricate and how important it is to be exactly precise. This is the only system with your squares and your half square triangles that I know, whether you do one layer, 32 layers, or 500 layers, they're all exactly 100% exactly the same.